and welcome to the English Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. The shipping is real. Yaks best at shipping. Yeah, man. Like, this this is a shipping episode. So, Silver, what did you do to Yona for her to think like that? I didn't have to do anything. Apparently, Sandbar won with natural charm and charisma. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't finish that sentence with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! He hasn't charisma rule of uh, five, so that has to say something about his charisma level. What do you do? <laughs> I don't know. I just roll a d20 and see what comes up. Talking about d20s, joining us also is Sapphire Heart Song. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I I I wasn't prepared for. A skit for this. Nobody is. <laughs> How does that work? Speaking of D20s, Safi, are you, are you packing dice? What? You Wait, know, what? She, she plays the D&D, third edition, if I remember right. I play first edition, and I don't really play all that often. It's like, yeah, it's like... It's like... Hmm. Here. I thought he was Speak... aiming for her age and how, you know, D20 and Safi's around her 20s. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm 21... Blackjack. <laughs> Speaking of rude Vegas, here's Torterra. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not that rude. <laughs> I even have the Torterra dance ready for the dance. Oh god. <laughs> I can only imagine. Is is that where you you curl up in your shell or no, it's I don't know, I, it's why I jump around. Uh, jump ar- a Torterra can jump? <laughs> yeah, it's just shell. not that high. Torterra uh, used leap. It was not at all effective. Nope. <laughs> Although I uh, might cause an earthquake. Uh, yeah, with your mega form. Uh, if only I had a mega form. Wait, no, it's not the mega form. It's the what? Gigantor? What is the new thing called? What's the new gimmick? It's called Gigantamax. No, it's. It's like Gigamax? Give me a second. I need to look this up now. Uh, all, all I know is that your level 1 attack is called Earthquake. Oh, wow. And then level 17 is Curse. Torterra used strong language. <laughs> you son of a... No, that's not <laughs> uh, Wait, I could say it, but, you know, Norman's going to have to edit that out. Then level 27, Torterra used Mega Drain. He brought down the mood of the whole room. <laughs> it's Dynamax and... Gin... Gin... I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Gintama? <laughs> no, I don't I watch that show. Uh, so anywho, in this episode, Sandbar asks Yona to a pony dance. So she goes to Rarity and her friends for a makeover and appearance and personality. Yeah. Yeah, moving things along. So, before we start, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think of said episode? It's shipping! There's so much shipping! <laughs> But there's also just it's a fun episode in my eyes. It's 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 sweet to see Yona trying to learn this. Uh, she and Sandbar are cute together, and funny enough, this might be the one episode where the main six actually behave like teachers for a change. Really? No. Well, think about this. For most of this of this uh, school portion of the series, the students seem to learn in spite of their teachers. Where, like, the Tree of Harmony was the one that gave them the best lessons. Here, all the te- all of the main six that participate are genuinely trying to help Yona learn this. And I think we can get into the question of, uh, are they changing Yona in a way that is unhealthy, a la simple ways? Or are they just trying to help her be ready for the dance? So that's worth talking about later. But I, I don't see any cruelty or hostility in this process. All right, all right. That makes sense. That makes sense. And Seppi, what about you? Okay, so I could just immediately tell with, like, the shipping right off the bat. It's like, okay, they're really going down this route. There was kind of, like, a big a bit of an allegory for me. I don't know if anyone else kind of picked up on this. If not, then I'll kind of, like, toss it in the trash. I, I kind of got, like, this feeling of, like, a big girl trying to be skinnier for the skinny guy she really, really likes. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm in that kind of heavy set manner. Uh, No, no, no. (laughs) I I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. And yeah, it could 
be portrayed as that too. So you're not wrong. It's a matter of perspective, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like saying like, oh, it's all about that. Therefore, it's a bad episode or some dumb. That's not a word like that. But <laughs> bless you. Sweetie, but... Hi. <laughs> oh, and yeah, and you know what? I'm adding that to the swear jar. <laughs> I just sneezed. <laughs> oh, no, I'm ta- I was I was talking about Safi. Oh, well, it's added to his swear jar. So hey, yeah. anyway, uh, you know what? You know what, Tartara? Sure, why not? You're 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 added too. <laughs> Oh, okay then. What? Hey, you volunteered. What even happened? I didn't volunteer as tribute, though. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. But yeah, th- those were the kind of things that I was kind of seeing. But at the same time, I'm like, Yona, you're too beautiful. You don't have to change yourself for any pony else. Please, <laughs> no. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It was hard to watch. <laughs> for me, honestly, because I'm like yelling at my screen. No, please don't change yourself. <laughs> all right, today, all right, today. You're perfect, girl. All Anyways, right, all right. okay. So, Tara, what about you? Well, I totally ship it, but you know, everyone's been saying that at this point. <laughs> all right. But I really liked it, and I liked how the story went, and the lesson's very important as well. And like, uh, like Silver so said. Instead of the main six learning, they're basically teaching them and uh, teaching how Yona could be instead. And even though they kind of put it on the wa- the wrong way, they still apologize for it. Yep, yep. That's 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 something to consider. Yes. And as for me, this episode was a lot of fun. At first, when I saw uh, Senbar asking Yona out, I was like, "Ah, oh, that's cool." Then the blush. And they're like, "Oh, oh, that that's." That's going nowhere, I can tell, but this is gonna be fun. Yeah. So yeah, this that's why I thought it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So before we start, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go watch. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the episode. So let's start. So we start off with our hero, Twilight, putting up a poster. And Silverstream getting very, very excited at posters because they're rare. Um? Rare like the great balls? <laughs> nah, man. But anywho, uh, Twilight just explains, Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna hold a Amity Ball party. Yay! It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna have dancing, we're gonna have parties and stuff. And this is only a Ponyville tradition. So I'm going to steal it and make it my own. Cultural appropriation. Yay. Although, w- when they say, uh, Amity, what was it? Amity Ball. Is anyone else just started defaulting to Amityville? Uh, I heard the word Amity Ball before this, so it's no shock to me. But yeah, that does also, yeah, comes up too. What was the thing before? Because I'm trying to look back. Uh, oldest perdition, the fat dog fe- fe- fat dog fete. Fat dog fete? Yeah, this is what they typed in in the, what you would call this, uh, transcript. Well, I, I don't even really know what a, and well, the old fat dog fete <laughs> traditions. Yeah. The pony pal contest, the lucky pot luck. Yeah, yep. But as any- long as it's not something dirty, because, you know, the, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Fete is simply another word for celebration or festival. Ah. All right. All right. All right. I guess Fetlock Fete is horse celebrations, except that very few of them actually have Fetlocks. I feel like Big Macintosh should be like, I'm right here. Yep. <laughs> oh, boys. But anywho, uh, Twilight announces the party and everybody's excited and I don't know why or how, but the phrasing sounds like or sounds to Twilight or sounds to the other creatures that is a pony exclusive party. Like, was it? No, right? You know, here's the thing. It was pony exclusive, but not by design or intent. It's just that no one else came by as far as I know. Zakura wasn't in town at the time, I think. Yeah, could like this is the first I heard of this. So, eh. Where was that? Where's that mule guy, though? Uh, this is... They mentioned, they mentioned a mule this season, and he didn't make an appearance. Not yet, probably. 
It's like, I always wanted him to be the final villain. <laughs> Remember when you were all like, no offense, and I was like, none taken? Well, I lied. <laughs> I knew it. But anywho, um, the, everyone's excited about the party because it's the Amity Wall. Everybody's invited and stuff. Every creature's invited. Woohoo! So everybody's interested. And uh, let's see. There's going to be prizes and whatnot. So the first place or whatever, the dance or whatever, I don't remember what they say, gets the trophy. Hey, it's a really cool trophy. So... Uh, Everybody's invited, and you know, Smolder just asks everyone, um, you want to go, something like that? And Gallus just says, you had me at dinner. I'm feeling that that's a reference or something. No? No one? Well, <laughs> nah, not really. No, because it feels like it. Uh -huh. I just like Gallus saying, you had me at dinner. Free stuff, mooching. It's the Griffin way. Yay. <laughs> that's speciesist. Uh, that's profiling. You mean like the time where I wanted to pay for the food and you basically paid for me and I had free food? You had free food, but that's that's a generous gift. Also, we managed to make someone choke with laughter. That is true. Yep. That's the, that, the difference between have. that and this is like, oh, free meal. No, you were actually willing to like pay for it. Though, no, for he's zero. pretending to yeah, pay for it. Was. He was trying to pretend to pay for it. See, this is all part of the devious plan. <laughs> Hush you. <laughs> They're just salty. Yeah, he's just jealous. I know, I am. Shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, at least I sent you pictures of us. Oh, la di da. <laughs> anywho, anywho. All right, all right, all right. Getting back on track. Uh, Sandbar asks Yona to the dance. And yeah, I mean, Yona here is asking about, like, oh, me, don't you want pony? Because there's pony, poster pony, eh, pony, pony, pony. And Samba says, yeah, it don't matter. Like, uh, I, I think it'd be cool to go out with you. So, Yona says yes. And Sandbar here, oh boy, look at his expression. He's so happy. He's doing the um, clicking your heels in the air kind of thing. Like, he is joyed. He's oh, he, filled with joy. Oh, he's freaking adorable in this. I know. I mean, just the, the blush and the way he approaches Yona and... Tilts his head. I know. <laughs> he's like you, you can tell this is the like an awkward young colt asking his maybe probably his first girlfriend or the first girl he's interested in out. It's so adorable. Aww, I've little never really scrubber. had that experience, <laughs> but yeah, it is adorable. Yeah, that's that's cute. That's just cute. Very, very cute. So we are all in um, agreement that Sandbar here is adorably cute for asking Yona out. Indeed. So, anywho, while this pass, Yona wants to be the best, the best there ever was, but thinks about how to be the best and get run over by rarity. What? I drive by fashioning. <laughs> oh, God, no. So, anywho, Yona gets the idea of, oh, um, I shall go to Professor Rarity for help. Hey! <clears throat> and... When she goes to Rarity, um, she explains the situation. By the way, I, I, I need to point something out. The animation style for Rarity's facial expression here is getting better. Like in the gallery on the wiki, her face looks wow. Especially what? On row, one, two, three, row three, column three. That one You looks... need to articulate. <laughs> Articulate. Where her her snout is slight foreshortened, so it doesn't protrude past the curve of her face. Yeah, and her hooves are touching together, and the glasses are kind of halfway. Like, wow, they're they're doing different thing with the animation now. Oh yeah, they they've come a long way since the season one. Yeah, I mean, I noticed this when watching some other episodes, like. The animation here is kind of cool. Like, wow, you get you gotta give credit for that. Well, I, I even noticed it when Sambar walks up to Yona and asks her on the date. You could even notice it too with his expression. It's very oh, yeah, noticeable. It's a, mm -hmm. He's a cute Sambar. Yeah, yeah. Who's that cute Sambar? <laughs> You're a cute Sambar. Wow, I'm wow. actually proud of Norman for calling him Sambar and not Vincent Tong. That's not a word. Oh, there oh. you go. That, 
Let's go in and Safi swear jar. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I, I need to keep up the joke. <laughs> Wait, what? I I am so confused. I didn't hear anything. Uh, Basically, well, Norman Norman cursed, so your your swear jar just increased. Yeah. No, this is Torterra's swear jar. Remember? No, 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 I didn't no. swear. No, Seppi, yeah, Seppi, sw- we established this a long time before. Any swear that goes on the show goes to your jar. No, that's yes. only when I say the O O F word. <laughs> no, it, it's all encompassing. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, Rarity asks Yona what she wants. And Yona says, oh, uh, Professor Rarity, could you help me out here? I need to become a phony for the dance and stuff. Like, could you help me out here? Could you help a sister out? And Rarity says, yeah, we can do that. Like, help? Yeah, you, you need a lot of that. So let's start. Let's start. Okay, now put some Brussels sprouts in your mouth and talk. What? What happened to marbles? I mean, were they afraid the kids would try this and actually choke? Yes. So... Because we all know no kid is going to put Brussels sprouts anywhere near them. Yes. No, I mean, the marble thing, the marble thing no, makes cho- you choke. No. But Brussels sprouts, those things are huge. I don't know. Why not Pokeballs? Yeah, are- Do you even know what a Brussels sprout looks like, no, Silver? Yeah, the ones I've seen are uh, rather large. Not quite golf ball size, but they're up there. I mean, at least it's not Tide Pods or anything. Oh, oh God. No, 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 no. Don't be an yeah, idiot. Don't, the, the Brussels don't do that. I've seen are like tiny. They're like tiny cabbages and I like them with butter. <laughs> you you and my dad would get along well. <laughs> but anywho, but anywho. And roasted. Oh my God, Brussels. <laughs> but Sorry. anywho, but anywho. Um, the thing is, like, this first exercise here from Rarity is to make her articulate and speak proper. And speaking with your Which mouth... you're not doing a very good job, though, Norman. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, anyway, with talking with your mouthful, that's a big no-no. So, why? That's well, a bad you're not, lesson. It's not teacher speak while eating. It's just articulate. How kind of you to ask me to tea. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But uh, uh, is now a good time to talk about whether or not Yona is changing who she is? I mean, Rarity went through this with simple ways. Mm-hmm. All right, let's 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 bring Where it up she... then. Let's bring it up then because this is a good question. Is Rarity changing Yona or what? Because I have a different interpretation with this. Firstly, I don't see her as, strictly speaking, changing Yona uh, to be someone else, she's just trying to ha- show a different st- side of Yona. It's like not viewing her as limited to how she is now. She fully believes that Yona can articulate and tackle the- these upcoming dances. Yeah, yeah. Because we have another educated yak in the series that's in the comic. What, issue 60 was it? The librarian, remember her? Yes, the creature convocation. Yeah, she studied at Oxford and lost her accent. <laughs> that cracks me up, man. The puns. But but she's not... Tr- I don't ever get the sense that she's saying, oh, Yona, you you can't be a yak. Yet Yona may be trying too hard. And personally for me, the way I see this was Yona trying to be the best at everything and since this is a quote-unquote pony party she wants to become the what you call this yeah that's the thing she wants to be the best (laughs) she wants to be best pony yeah yeah and you're not best pony and in all honesty but in all honesty um i think it's the interpretation of what Yona wants and what Rarity is doing for Yona. Maybe two very different things. Yeah. Because from... Sounds about right. Uh, because from what Rarity is thinking, oh, Yona wants to dress well for the party, okay? And wants to do well at the party, so let me help. But Yona's thinking, I want to be the best and I want to be company. 
Although, let's also acknowledge that the, during the song, <clears throat> Rarity has a very skewed view of culture herself because she like pictures Gallus and uh, and Sandbar in these hats, and S- Smolder's got got a top hat. Gallus has a cane for Granite Loud. And then when we, I'm jumping ahead a little, but when we get to the actual party, uh-huh. no one's wearing a dress. Yeah. Except Rarity and Yona. Yeah. 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 What? So Rarity clearly has some pretty high expectations of this dance herself, which are not there. She's probably going to be so disappointed. Yeah. Well, that, that is I strange. Mean, ponies don't normally wear clothes. True that. Unless you're in Canterlot. True that, true that. <laughs> the more cultural you get, you know, the more of a cultural epicenter, there are more clothes to be had. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. But, uh, so, sorry. Pony, Ponyville's full of Starkers. <laughs> yeah. But no, here's the thing. Like, um, I'm just going to fast forward a bit because things are going to go into song. Song is pretty nice. Song is, it's just nice. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, Rarity does a whole lot of things, uh, telling Yona this and that and whatnot, and there's a reflection of her being a pony, ah, and stuff. That's kind of cool and whatnot. So yeah. So Yona has two OCs now, like me. <laughs> Henshin. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we start off the thing and stuff like okay. Um, Rarity says, "Oh, we're missing one important part of the dance." Or the ball or whatever it is. And Yona says, oh, I got that cover. I have a date. And Rarity says, ha ha, uh, that's cute, that's cute. But we're missing the dance. And we go to the gym. And we are greeted with Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash can dance? Apparently. Right now, all thanks to you, Norman, all I want is for, to hear Tabitha St. Germain say, oh, that's cute. But it's wrong! <laughs> At a con, probably. <laughs> Uh, boys. But anywho, uh, Rarity knows the uh, pony cultium? How do you say that word? Couture? No, it's C-O-T-I-L-L-I-O-N. Um, Cotillion? 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 Oh, wow. Give me a second. I'll paste it into the chat and there you go. Let's see what the transcript says. The Pony Cotillion. Yep. What is that? Look it up, Norman. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, oh. I couldn't resist. Well, let's see here. Co- Cotillion, an 18th century French dance based on the contradance. Ah. A formal ball, especially one in which debutantes are presented. Oh, this. So they're going with some very fancy words. Who's the writer for this one? Oh, I'm this not, is... I'm not good with fancy words. This is a new guy or gal. Brian Hoff- Hofferfield? Huh, okay. I think, I think he, Brian's written for people before. Really? I don't remember. I think. Uh, I'm pulling up so many tabs to look stuff up. Yeah, what is, yeah, yeah, what yeah. is this episode? I don't know. Okay. Um, Brian has written for, uh, let's see, previous credits include Stretch Armstrong and the flex fighter and they go l secret of the uh, elven uh, uh film writing is surf and or turf the hearts warming club and she's all yak okay yeah so he wrote some really good episodes yeah true that i i don't remember the other two having very big words well now that he's taking advantage hmm? cool 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 oh wow most of his episodes includes the quote unquote cmcs or the students. So that's cool. Anyhow, getting back on track, we are all over the place now. <laughs> so yeah. Kind of like these dance steps. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the dance steps. So Tishai says, oh, you know, I, I have this uh, uh, chart for you to follow. Here you go. And I'm thinking, is she playing DDR on Max Invisible? What? Maybe she's one of those folks who can do like uh, super high, big, ultra score. Perfect. Great. Jesu. Wow. <laughs> okay, so anywho, Fluttershy teaches Yona how to dance, and Yona stumbles for a bit. 
Angel Bunny just hops in and says, Look at me, I'm doing the floss. Huh, how do you like that? No, not really. It's Angel. He's just being kind of bratty. Yeah. Isn't he always? <laughs> yeah, totally. Except for that one time, but we can't really get into yeah. territory. <laughs> well, even then, he was a big brat, but, yeah. you know. But any hoop, uh, Rainbow Dash swoops in, telling Yona, okay, that's cool and whatnot. Now, this dance, this dance is going to be cool. This dance is going to be fun. Look at me. I'm doing it's the... It's going to be rad. Yeah. I'm doing the pony prance. Woo! Look, look at me. I'm prancing around. Woo! And Yona says, oh, I can do that too. And Twilight has to ask Rainbow Dash, Rainbow, why is there a budget here for more gym tools? Didn't we have those? Yeah, uh, you can put on Safi's bill. <laughs> What bill? I'm in debt at this point. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Not like I have anything. So that's is mm, well. Let's say Yona needs a bit more training. So anywho, we go to the farm because Applejack hears Yona needs help with the ball, and <laughs> a little uh, more like a lot. So yeah, one of the other what we call this tradition is the. Um, Fat lock, fat tape, lucky pot. So this is why I'm not mistaken. Every creature brings their own potluck to the uh, party and they share their meals. I'm guessing. And of course, they all have they all have custom buckets. Yeah, I have a bucket too. It's the KFC bucket. Ugh. Norman, <laughs> yeah. how could you? <laughs> why? Me- uh, oh, gee, I wonder. What do I get called often? A shield? Old man? Okay, Glorified besides pigeon? that. <laughs> you're all right and yet not quite on the mark, which makes me very sad. <laughs> what? Then? Chicken. Well, I, I know oh. what he's talking about. I get paired with KFC all the time. Also, Tartaria, your, pe- your uh, potluck uh, carrying pail would probably have a Pokeball on top. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Make it obvious, just like Apple Jacks. Oh, Apple Jack, you just once, just once I'd like to see her uh have something not related. You're a pear now, too. <laughs> but more it's a pear on the Apple site. But anywho, um they they have this bucket with food inside, we got no idea, it's a mystery. And Yona says, Oh, Yona has traditional uh yak dish. It's gruel with sticks in it, extra fiber, yum yum. And the way that Applejack brings this away is kind of cute. <laughs> I forget what she does. She, she just carries it in her mouth, right? Yeah, but before well, that... she carries the handle. Yeah, but the look oh, on her face, what, uh. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do? Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, I, I'm going to speed up things a bit here because uh, we're kind of half, a, half an hour in and we're just talking about yep. the middle. So, okay, anyway, I'm speeding through... Uh, Pinkie Pie teaches Yona how to bake and Pinkie Pie is a wizard or something like that or a time lord because she just mixes stuff in and pops it, it goes out like what? and Applejack says oh magic <laughs> Applejack says here let's start something simple try apples and Yona crush apples apple smash and Yona smash apples Yona strongest there is <laughs> yep and then uh, from this point on, we have another musical montage. It's just from uh, Yona practicing how to dance, from yeah, how to dance, and then helping the apples with creating more. Uh, what you call this? Um, apple cider, cider looks like it. Yeah, and then to Rarity painting Yona's toenail and Yona trying to lick it up. What? No, don't do that. And yeah, in in the end, Yona succeeds in being a classy yak so she can talk proper and is a success yay much awesomeness well this this is why i don't think that it's quite the same as uh simple ways they're they're asserting that you that achieving this goal is within yona's ability it's she's not uh barred from it because of birth or social status or any of that which is funny enough because uh, She's All Yak is based on She's All That, mm-hmm. which is a modernized version of My Fair Lady. All right. 
which is, if memory serves, is about a uh, woman learning to act all cultured. So I find it interesting. They're not asking her to stop being a yak. They're just saying, if you want to learn this, we can teach you. And here's the thing. All except for Twilight, all the teachers are involved in this. Yeah. They're trying, struggling a little, but they're working to help her learn it. And she does. Yeah. It works. And I I'll just break down the lesson that the teachers are teaching Yona. Applejack and Pinkie Pie are teaching her how to bake or cook. Uh Rarity sorry, Fetishai and Rainbow Dash are teaching her how to dance. And Rarity is just teaching her on etiquettes and dressing her up. <coughs> so, anywho, uh, they succeed and it's time for the ball. So, we got DJ Skills and... What was it called? <laughs> skills, skill and, skills and Tails. Yeah, skills and Tails on. And everybody uh, is just there bringing their own potluck and stuff. And, yay, um... Sandbar is there, very excited. He's wearing a bow tie and everybody's just saying, oh man, this part is dumb. Like, oh, th- this is boring. You can invite other creatures to the ball, but you can't make them feel comfortable. True. And is that Josh I see? It, there is a pony there at that school. We saw him at the end of last season who looks a lot like Commander Firebrand. Yeah, I'm seeing oh. him here. Like, Wait, I, d- I missed this. Where? Uh, Someone uh, sent me a screenshot? Well, let's see here. There's there's a better screenshot later on in the episode. Yeah. That shows the full the full not firebrand. Totally not firebrand. Yeah, totally, totally. Seppi, go check it out. It's in the link. He's got a wrench for a cutie mark. Yeah, I mean I see it, but also like he You don't believe it? Eyes. Yeah, I mean, they have to make it different. If not, Firebrand's gonna hunt them down. I think I'd recognize him more if he were screaming and yelling over a pun. <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to say, maybe that's a reference to Firebrand and how Silver was always screwing with him. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah, that makes sense. So, anywho, um, the creatures or the other creatures don't feel really comfortable being there because they feel like, man, um, we don't really fit in. Like, this feels so silly and dumb. Like, I mean, this is just not us. <laughs> Like, being the pony thing. And Sandbar just says, Guys, Twilight says it doesn't have to be a pony thing. Like, any creature can just come in and join and have fun. And uh, Ocellus, Gallus, Smolder, and Silverstream just says, Yeah, you should just tell that to Yona. And I love Sandbar's reaction when he finds out that she's been trying to pony up. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm so awesome. She's even... Look at me. I'm such a player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so- it's like, don't get too full of yourself there, kiddo. Yeah. But I, I just love the group teasing him like, oh, you're, you're dressing pretty smart for this party. You're going to go on a date with Yona. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Wink, wink, nudge, 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 say no more. Oh, they know. <laughs> yeah, he's not hiding it. So Yona comes in and, Mother Celestia, what? What am I? What? My eyes. I'm seeing it, but I'm not believing what? it. The, it's the it's the wig that does it for me. Uh, I, it's the whole thing. Should I wave the doom flag I have beside me? Red flag? Oh yes, wave, wave that doom flag. Doom. I'm still sad I didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> next ne- next time, Safi. Oh, oh, but you know, but I in all honesty, oh. like what what's going on? Like we had the image for Yona kind of set in one of Rarity's. Um, song. Remember when they were in the field playing golf or whatever it is? I thought they would go for that, but this. What? What? Well, that's just a hat and an umbrella. Rarity went a little too far. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I mean... She's gone to... And again, I I reiterate that no one else at the party is wearing a dress, so what was Rarity getting ready? Yeah, that's also true. The only people, or the only creatures there with a dress is just Rarity and Yona. Not even the other teachers. Like, not even Twilight. Not even... Okay, maybe DJ Skills and Tails is wearing a jacket, but that's other. That's besides the point. I, I thought we already went through this. That was, you know, 
we, we There's a bow tie count? About this. Well, meanwhile, Vinyl Scratch DJ Pwn3 is outside wearing a very sour expression looking at DJ Skills and Tails. I will end you. <laughs> yeah. With my bass cannon. Woo! <laughs> but, but anywho, but anywho, um, Yona here is dressed ridiculously. Like, she is ridiculous in the way she's dressed right now. She has a fake purple wig. She's wearing a dress that's two times her size. She's wearing heavy makeup and, oh, uh, goodness me, like, oh, uh, wow. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's something wrong. Speaking of there's something wrong, did Yona pick this dress or did Rarity make it for her? Because if it's the latter, I understand how things could go awry. If it's the former, rather, I can understand how things go awry. But if Rarity made that dress for her, I think that doesn't reflect well on Rarity. I think she did because in this whole scene in the montage, she's been trying to make a dress for Yona all this time. Even in the background when she's eating Brussels sprouts and dancing. I mean, it is kind of last minute. Kind of? Last minute. She does have to get the dress to go over those horns. That would explain uh, the the oversize. But it, in the same way, this is not rarity at her finest. I think this could be her first time working with a yak. So let's go with that, eh? Hey. Yep, yep. Well, at least she didn't give up on making a huge dress for a yak. Yeah, true that, true that. So, anywho, let's speed it up a bit. So, uh, DJ Skills and Tails here put on the first music. And it's the uh, Pony Cat. Oh, how do you say that word, Silva? Cotel- Cotillion. Cotillion, thank you. Cotillion. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, the Cotillion. And Yona was performing rather well. I have, I am surprised. Like... In all honesty, if she did not have to dress, things would have gone smoothly. Again, not reflecting well on Rarity here. Yep. And what's up with the wig? Yeah, it gets in the eyes. Oh, like s- and triggers her fight or flight response. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, so she stumbles on the dress because it's a bit too long with her. And yeah, she has a nice save for punch. And yeah, post send bar some punch. Yay. And now, DJ, S- you know what? I'm just gonna call him Spike. Oh, skills and tails really bothering me. <laughs> We're really what? having trouble pronouncing things this episode. I know. Yeah, sounds about right. No, yeah. I'm it's not even the- trying, and I already know what most of the stuff is. <laughs> We're it's quite the quandary. Uh, sorry, Silo, what were you say? We're in quite the co- quandary. Yeah, and Tara, what did you say? We're all speaking yak. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Yak speaks better than us, oh no. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, DJ Spike pumps up the jam by putting on the pony prance and, oh god, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun, it's fun. But Yona's wig goes over her eyes and, oh my god, things went awry by her just smashing into things and causing a ruckus and causing the destruction of the party. Once she recovers, she's sad and runs away. Runs away. And she does, right into the potluck. Yep. Which is now tough luck. Oh god, no. So, yeah. <laughs> since <laughs> since all the food is kind of ruined, she cries over food and, well, hides. Wait, wait. I gotta know. Mm. Was there any milk in that uh, buffet. I don't see it. I know. I know the pun you're oh. going for. I would love it, but no. Nah. But there's pasta. I'm. I'm hoping it's pasta. Looks like pasta. I'm guessing. Well, there's pasta. then there's then there's no use crying over past pasta. <laughs> oh god. Oh, so anywho. Sh- well, I mean, at least no one's an impasta. <laughs> oh man, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I got no puns for this. Oh my! Uh, come on, you just gotta get a little saucy with this, Norman. I know, I know. Uh, Channel your inner meatball. Yeah, I have to be uh, be a spicy meatball. Uh, yeah, no, not even gonna. Do that. Anywho, uh, we train <laughs> back up with Yona. She's in the treehouse and she's singing the set yak song. How does it go again, Silver? I, I, 
got to give me just a sec here. <laughs> no. Yona said, Yona sing sad song. Sad Yona. This sounds to me like similar to the Pony Holiday song, the Yak's Holiday song. Yak song, very long. <laughs> sing again. <laughs> sounds so similar. Yona said. <laughs> Oh boys! Well, at least they're at least they're direct with their with their lyrics. Mm, true that, true that, true that. So Senba pops by, and Yona hides, and Yona just says that oh she's very embarrassed by the whole debacle, and she feels so unworthy. She even tied herself up to the pillar, not wanting to go anywhere and just stay there and never go uh, to school. But Senba could send her meals. Ooh. Oh, I mean, here's what the, How does she do that, tie herself to a pillar? That just seems... And also, what's the safe word? Yak? Oh, no, man. Like, that, that, no. It's going to have to be something that you don't use. Like banana crunch. Well, here... Here's the thing. This is where Sandbar finally gets to shine. Uh-huh. I mean, let's be honest. Sandbar is kind of overshadowed most of the time, yeah? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's from Ponyville, so he's not as vulnerable as the other students. He doesn't have a, as many exceptional quirks. He's a pretty easygoing guy. Uh, so when Yona says, name, name two worse ponies than Yona. <laughs> uh, Sombra and Cozy Glow. Bam! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I but mean, you know, I, I could name another two. Oh, yeah? Who? Flame and Flam. He hasn't met them no, yet. True that. No, yeah. no, he has. Probably. Somehow. No, I don't think he has. I know that he knows about Cozy Glow because, you know, he was there. And Samba because, you know, everyone knows the story about Samba. Yeah, but Flame and Flam came to... Oh, I can think of another worse pony. Me! Oh, Luna Celestia? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, they don't do their jobs pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I. Oh, we're, Sorry, ba- we're back to this again. <laughs> oh, but, any- but anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, Sandbar tries to cheer Yona up, and it kind of works. They, they, oh man, they are into each other. So, Tara, how much is that? How much is what for their shipping? Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, I just load them up into the truck. I don't pay. I don't check the price for shipping. <laughs> oh, you hear it here. I just look at something, I ship it, and then I load it up onto the internet for the price. That you're gonna have to talk to Sweetie Boom about that. Uh, yeah. But there's a question of shipping and handling. How are you handling this? Oh, wow. very gently. <laughs> we have a thing called hand to surface where we gently put it on the ground or on top of the box, and we don't just throw it. At because that's bad. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. So, you... Unless, of course, if it's a bad ship, then you can just throw it. <laughs> so you you, sh- you could say Yona and uh, what you would call this sandbar are... Sandbar. Best ship? Yes. You ship it? Right now, I mean, they, got a sh- they had a shooting star over them as they hugged. I know, right? And it's they like, blush a lot, too. It's like, God approves of this ship. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw it, and lo, it was good. <laughs> Oh. And God and God said unto them, "Super kawaii desu, <laughs> yeah, yeah. ne safi chan." <laughs> and he gave them huggy wuggies. Oh, oh huggy wuggies! Oh, oh well, I, I know that's something we don't want to repeat for reasons, but dang, that that sticks around. Yeah, someone never lets anything die. Honestly, mm, true that. That's right. That's right. I'm, I I resurrect the bad jokes. <laughs> so, anywho, Senbar invites Yona back to the party. And whatever happens, Senbar has Yona's back. Uh, we ship it. We ship it like FedEx. Which is funny, but before this episode, I'll, the biggest ship I saw involving Sandbar was either him and Gallus or himself and uh, Ocellus. Oh, yeah, that, that's the obvious one. Like, uh, Sandbar and Ocellus. I've read fanfics about that, so yeah. And Gallus, Gallus is almost like the Rainbow Dash, where. Everybody ships with it. Shipping with everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you have Gallus. It's like, yeah, now everybody's shipping with Gallus. So, anywho, back to the party. 
uh, the students and teachers clean the mess up and the student six are a bit sad that Yona ran out like that and wonder if she's okay. And suddenly, doors opens and reveals Yona is Senbar. And the group says, no matter what it is, we're with you, buddy. And the teachers, except why, well, the teachers come in and apologize to Yona, except for Twilight, because she got no idea what's going on. And when that's all done, she awards the prize to Yona and Sandbar for being the award of friendship, something like that. Mm, I think, yeah, something like something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one sec, one sec, one sec. Sazong, yada yada yada. Huh? The Pony Pal Prize. Ah, yes. And oh yeah, the- because they're so totally more than pals. Oh yeah. And this oh, is the yeah. Amity Ball Award for friendship. Friendship. Yeah. And look, there's a yak on the cup on the top. Oh, the- Although, wait, it looks like that's chocolate frosting. Yeah, it looks it like is. it. But no, it, it could be clay that Twilight um, just slaps on there. Twilight's resourceful, I guess. You're going to have to like have several custom trophy heads. I know. Just so every year you can spin on the winning interlocking group. I know. Fantastic. Could you just imagine if there were diamond dogs there? Like, oh, now we need to do diamond dogs now. Oh, great. And then we got to do mules. Oh, great. Now we have to do sea serpents? Where does it stop? Dang it, Steve Magnet. Oh, the horror. But anywho, everybody celebrates. Everybody stomps their hoof in joy. And Spike just says, yo, you're not regret that you're back. Everybody's asking how to do the dance that you did. It's really awesome. And fun fact for you guys that don't know, um, in the post or in the what um, behind the scene um, song that they use uh, in you know in the making of it, the song that they used for this was um, something by POD. Let your body see the floor. Oh, let the body oh, hit drowning, the floor. drowning pool. You. Yeah, I forgot Their about that. Song center is way better. Yeah, but they used that song for this one. Because Yona was bouncing and everybody's like bouncing. So it's like, oh, they bounce. Although I personally would have gone with stamp on the ground. Jump, 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 jump. jump, jump, jump move it all around. <laughs> Tap, Norman, ta, da, da, da. Norman, you're just pointing that out to like bring up the freaking metal head in me. My God. Yeah, we're all right. Ooh, Safi, get, get the head banging. Wait, what? <laughs> Repeat the question. <laughs> It was less a less a question, more a command. Start with the head banging. How do I Not- portray that through audio? <laughs> Bang your head against the microphone. <laughs> oh wow! Is that really a good idea? No, no, but I'll find it hilarious <laughs> if you do it. Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> it sounds painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a concussion. <laughs> that episode ends. Yes. Woo. Boy, so anywho, final thoughts. Silver, what do you think of said episode? I gave Safi a concussion. <laughs> I have a concussion. Oh boy, I guess Safi will be joining <laughs> us next week. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, god. She, she gonna need to lie <laughs> down now. Oh, Safi Sama, Dai Chovu? Oh, wow. oh my god, Norman, what's <laughs> happening? Oh, we've got her into full weeaboo. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my thoughts on this episode. It's a little awkward in the sense of how are they viewing Yona? Is this will help you fit in or will help you change? Which is a vi- which is kind of how my opinion on this will turn. It's a linchpin uh, factor. I view it more as they're, they want to help her. If she wants to be this way, uh, they want to help her learn. Not wiping away her yak culture and heritage in favor of poniness, but if she wants to try and make this effort, they're not going to deny her either. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't sense there was any other goal than that. And I'll say, Yona and, and Sandbar are just adorable in this episode. There's those three. Oh, yeah, it's true, it's true. oh, just those three together. What would the children look oh, wow, like? Oh, no. I, I, I saw fanfics oh, of that, too. 
Ah, oh, boys. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Darren. I agree with you, Darren. The whole scenario with uh, Yona and yeah, the whole scenario of Yona asking Rarity, and some could interpret that Rarity is trying to change Yona just because of the whole thing. Like it could be interpreted that way, but you know, honestly, nah, it's just Rarity trying to teach Yona about the dance, really, not changing her into a pony. But I, I think because of the song there, that's what got people or guess misinterpret what she really means. That's really all I got. I, I do want to comment on the final shot of all the ponies jumping around. Oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> if this were an earlier season, I think it would have been, you would have seen them jumping with sort of a uniformity, uh. like Flash. You can just change the the puppets a little while keeping the poses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, but if you look at even just the screenshot, you know that some are in the air, some are on the ground. They all have different. They all have different uh, posings and stages of where they are in the jump. It's much more individualized, and as such, looks much more alive. True that. True that. And you know, see, sometimes you can see that. Okay, some of the models are. Almost the same, but there's a static shot. We we don't really see the timing. I I'm guessing if we watch it in motion, it's much more better. Well, I I think it's good as is. I'm sure that there's a little diversity. Yeah, I'm watching it in motion right now, and yeah, you can see that not all of them are in sync. They're all like moving at their own pace, which is good. I mean, that's really how a dance should be. It's cool when they all sync up very tightly. But at the same time, if it's too similar, it starts to feel unnatural. True that, true that. But that could be also... You know what? That's another story for another day. Yeah, so, anywho. So, does that mean that when we do our sync test, we don't have to do it at the same no, time? No, the sync test is there for a reason. <laughs> Truthfully, we never we never achieved that anyway. So. We try to, but it helps in editing. And, Seppi, what about you? What do you think of this episode? I still have a concussion! Hi. You know what the cure for that is? What? Cowbell? Keep, keep headbanging. Oh. Okay. No, do it. I can actually hear her IQ dropping. Silver, you trying to do an attempted murder here? This is a... That's not a word. Invitation. And now we have... Uh, <laughs> Lamb of now, God. Now we have uh, Sweetie Bot get in on the deal. Yep. But Seffy, if you <laughs> let's fire those remaining brain cells and just say, what did you think of this episode? E? I still think it's cringy. <laughs> cringy, okay. Well, for me, it, I I can't help but cringe. Like, it it comes to a point where I kind of put myself in episodes sometimes, and like when I get to that point where it's like, oh, this is heading home. I, I can't help but try and, like, skip over it in order to repress memories. <laughs> so, wait, you see yourself in your nine this episode? Yeah. Really, no. Uh, but... Ooh. Once again, I bring up the whole, like, big girl aspect. But it does... It, 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 uh, it, it's mostly, like, me during high school and, like, even middle school. Oh. I was always... Mm. You know, it, it it is an interesting pers- uh, point of view perspective because when I watched the episode, I didn't really see it that way. It's more to like how to put this. Um, it, there's there's part of me saying that oh yeah, when I first saw it, I could see that Rarity is trying to change Yona into a pony or something like that. That's I think everybody's first impression when they saw it like that. And you're you're thinking mm. like huh? It's a bit interesting. It's really, it's really interesting. It's just me. I'm not like saying like, oh, this is the definite oh. meaning of this episode. No, no, no. These are the the implied allegories that none of you are seeing. No, no I'm not like yeah, that. True. I mean, but it's interesting to. This is just how I see things because. Yeah, like I mentioned before, it's really interesting that you had that view and I had something else and Silver had something else. So. That's pretty interesting. I like it when an episode does, does that. Well, truthfully, I never really went. I never really learned to dance. Oh, oh I never either. 
I, I've never learned to uh, dance either. Uh, you... I don't know. I was always kind of that uh, you... not very socially inept girl <laughs> who also happened to be huge. So honestly, I honestly I would have been like Yona if someone had asked me out in like high school or whatever. <laughs> I would try to like impress, be more attractive, uh... and try to like. You know, get some outside help. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Help! <laughs> all right, then. Now, now you're experienced. You're, you're all good. You're all good. So. Yep, I have a boyfriend who went through that kind of stage with me. <laughs> Yay! But anywho, um, Tara, what do you think? Well, I really enjoyed this episode. It was very cute, and come on, I was cute throughout the whole way. And I also kind of like the lesson, don't change who you are, just be yourself. Even if someone asks you out on a date where it has tradition, like for Yona, it's a po- it used to be a pony dance kind of thing, and she's basically trying to turn herself into a pony, and I guess the main five, they changed her, but without realizing they're changing her too much. Mm. But then they realized it in the end, and then Yona just does the yak dance, which is very nice because that's her being herself, and she's doing the dance that she knows. Mm-hmm. True that, true that. And I, I think from my perspective or from the teacher's perspective is that they're not really trying to change her, but they're trying to teach her. But uh, well, once they knew what was going on, they felt guilty because, oh, we were. Tr- um, it felt like we were trying to change her. Oh, that's our bad. Sorry for that. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, but with that, uh, as for me, I, I, I like this episode. This episode brings out a lot of commentary about stuff and whatnot. I mean, from here we have we have four people reviewing the show and we have almost four different perspectives of the episode. So this is something rather interesting. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. And what else? Uh, yeah, the ship is strong. I I hope they do more with it because, damn, season's almost over. No, we need more. And this is the first time we get to see a relationship that doesn't involve two adults. Well, we we barely gotten to see relationships with adults. It's, I mean, the biggest one was the couple that became Applejack's parents. Yeah. It's a flashback. Oh, no, remember um, Patton Oswald? Ah, yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Common, un- Uncommon common ground. ground. Yeah, Quill Pants. That was last week's episode. Yeah, Quill Pants. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's that. Also, there's what? The uh, Fluttershy. No, not Fluttershy. Uh, who else now? A relationship. If we're talking about relationship, there's what, um, who now, Rar- Rarity and Applejack? Not really Applejack, um, Rarity, Surf and or Turf? Was it that one? What, Rarity wasn't in Surf and or Turf? Sorry, no, uh, what was that episode nope. one called ago? Uh, no, uh, Swarming Club. Okay, what was the plot premise? No, uh, this one is the Country Western Applejack. What, uh, simple yeah, ways? simple ways. Well, no one got together on that yeah, one. Yeah, but it's nope. implied that Rarity and Applejacks are a thing. <laughs> Was it? Uh, implied it again. I don't know. No. I, I, either way. That was like the last thing that was implied. <laughs> but here, here's what uh, I can take away from this. Although we'll see more, uh, we'll see the students in student council and, uh, well, I, I, I can't go too much further on that. Where was it? Dragon Ball Hor- or a horseshoe in? Horseshoe in? Is that episode? That hasn't aired in America. Um, that hasn't aired in America yet, but it's a school episode. Oh, wow. Which episode is this one again? I'm trying to remember. Is it one of the episodes that had an early release in China? Yeah, it is. is. But, I mean, just listen to the synopsis. Starlet decides to hire a vice head mayor in preparation for taking over the School of Friendship. You know the student six are going to be in that episode. It's the School of Friendship. Yeah, yeah. But this might be the last student-centric episode of the series. And that's why I'm angry. Uh... This sucks. 
But, Norman, all good things must come to an end. Yeah, but the student shipping is not. Like, they just, they were just new. Oh, there are ship me some ponies. It's okay. We got a lot of ships, too. <laughs> so we gotta ship it all. Mm-hmm. Ship it to the moon. Yeah, but, but anywho, but anywho, um, with that episode review ends, that's our thoughts. We like it. Go watch it. And Silver, what are we going to do for next week's thing? Well, we're going to do a little changing of gears, I think. Oh. We're going to keep the little aspect, but instead it's going to be Little Witch Academia. Oh, My Little Witch Academia. Yay. Don't, I, I'm trying very hard Dang not it. to fall back into that. <laughs> Norman, you're sabotaging me. I've been helping you with pronunciations this whole review, and you can't even help me keep it to Little Witch Academia. You know I'm going to use that now. Yep. Shame. Shame on you. Use that to trigger Safi. Yep. <laughs> Re. Oh, well, triggering Safi, that's, I, I could basically just open my mouth and that'll trigger her. <laughs> I'm not Eliora. I'm not that triggered whenever you open your mouth. Oh, Safi Sama, <laughs> come in the side. No, man. I, I... I don't think that's the trigger point. I, I think what um, Tug Quill. Tug Quill. Uh, you, you don't call that. Uh, what was it again? What? Are you shipping me with a tugboat? No, no, no. Uh, what was it again? Talking in mm, Tug. Oh, no, it's not Tug. What was the thing that you like to use to annoy Sappy? Man, it's gonna bother me now. Uh, Yay, Ebonics. Ebonics. Does bug her. Thank you, Sappy, for reminding me what it's called. Yeah, that doesn't really bother me anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, she Sorry, she kept Norman. it she kept it together at Bronicon when I, it wasn't until I switched to uh, Weeaboo that she <laughs> started she started to break down. Oh god! And start laughing. <laughs> yes. Uh, I I couldn't keep a straight face the moment you started doing that. Uh. That's right. Had to be there kind of thing. That's right. <laughs> All righty then. But anywho, uh, so yes, Little Witch Academia. All right. So that's going to be next week's thing. And yeah, so guess we'll catch you there. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themisregiment.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? You can find me on, on Twitter under MLP Silver Quill. You can also find me on DeviantArt under the same name. And you, if you do a search on YouTube for After the Fact or Silver Quill, I shall appear. And on Wednesdays, you can find me on Equestria Daily posting a comic review or editorial. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Also, Seppi, where can the good people find you? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, DeviantArt, or any other place on the internet as long as you search up the name Anime Christie. Hi, that's me. Nice, nice, nice. I, I really don't have much after that. <laughs> it's all good. Tara, where people find you? Well, they can easily find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. Or they can just do a simple Google search, and I'm pretty sure I'll be on all of those. Or they can also donate to me on my Patreon page. Yay, go do it. Go do it, guys. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch the radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. And if you want to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Starstream, Master of Leg, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. Anywho, I have been Roman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill, and I ship it. I have a concussion. And I am the Tartare who handles the shipping. <laughs> and we'll guys catch you next week. See ya. Adios. Bye-bye. Does anybody want to go check out on Sappy? She's okay. I mean, yeah. I'm sure she's fine. She sounds normal. I go, but I get queasy around the side of blood. <laughs> it's not blood. It's ketchup. Yeah, that's what you learn in real games. 
Well, there you go, Tartaria. You go catch up with her. <laughs> yeah.